Whisper by Alistair Cross. Read by Jameson Walker. Mr. Jones? Olivia raised a hand to her chest to slow her pounding heart. Indeed, I am. He sauntered down the aisle toward her with the graceful gait of a prowling panther. She was mesmerized. This was not the elderly Mr. Jones she'd envisioned. I do hope you'll forgive me for startling you. The door was open. His resonant voice reminded her of fire, smoky and crackling. A well-cut three-piece charcoal suit complemented wide shoulders and a tapered waist. He removed a satin top hat, and his slicked back hair gleamed onyx, matching his polished black shoes, dark sunglasses, briefcase, and the walking stick tucked under his arm. The only deviance of color was his tie, a deep shade of cardinal that, from a distance, looked like a mortal wound. He mounted the few steps onto the marble-floored chancel, and when he extended his hand, she took an involuntary step back. Gremory Jones, at your service. She accepted his hand. His touch was charged with something she couldn't identify, something dark and sensual. Olivia Leblatt. Instead of shaking it, he held her hand in both of his. She saw her own wide-eyed reflection in the limousine black lenses of his glasses. Pleased to meet you, he smirked. His face was an arresting composite of powerful male features, all handsome angles with a blunt jaw, pointed chin, high cheekbones, and heavy brows. But there was more to his face than she could have described. It was the kind of face that caused women to fall in love and immediately regret it. It was a face that inspired lust and fear. It was cruelly beautiful, diabolically handsome. She wanted nothing more than to touch that face, to kiss it, and these unexpected thoughts embarrassed her. She felt the warmth of him through his charcoal suit. On that heat rode a rugged scent rich and smoky, with something sulfurous, almost burnt, underlying it. Charmed. The word was a growl. Available soon on Audible.